Hello everyone. Thank you as always for checking out the video. The Elite Series is headed to Lake Murray and I think this is going to be a really exciting tournament. We're hitting it at a really interesting time of the year. The FLW Bass Pro Tour was here about a week ago um, from when I'm recording this. A lot of fish caught shallow. We had some sight fishing done that, that played really well. We've had super nice weather down there. I think we're going to have a lot of fish moving off of beds for this one. You're going to have a lot of post spawners. You might have sight fishing play to an extent but I think for the most part you're going to have post-spawn fish for this one. But what's really interesting about Lake Murray is they have blueback herring. And that is absolutely your X factor for this one. Going to be a, a huge contributor and probably the main factor, in my opinion, to who wins this one. You can do some other things on this lake. Like if you get up into the river system on the upper end of the lake, bluegill are going to be moving up, probably thinking about spawning. You're going to have crawfish and things flipping. That's going to play up there, but I think the blueback herring is going to be the key for this one with the way it's setting up. They should be spawning in that FLW event. Gagliardi, of course, came back and won that one on the final day, focusing on staging fish in that 8 to 12 foot range off points and things where uh, they were staged up, waiting for those herring to move up, and he was catching them while they were out there. He, of course, had a lot of guys that were up throwing topwaters and swim baits and things up shallow to schooling fish. Both of those patterns are probably going to play here. Uh, but I look for the herring to be the key. Let's dive in and pick this one. One last thing to add before we jump into the buckets here. I do believe I've picked out the uh, prizes for the Bassmaster Fantasy Fishing. Um, I'll announce those later. I've got to do a little groundwork, make sure I can do that. But stay tuned for those. If you're not in our Bassmaster Fantasy Fishing group already, I'll link that down in the description. It's LJM Outdoors. Join us there. Uh, I am by no means winning that. We got some people that are really kicking my tail right now, so that's good to see. But do join us there, and without any further ado, let's dive in and pick these things. For the historical data, we've got four tournaments on this one, 2011 and 2012 Bassmaster Elites, and then the Forest Wood Cup in 2017. That was an August tournament, but I included it anyway. And then also 2021 in April, the FLW was here. So that one uh, didn't have a ton of anglers still fishing it at that time, but there were a few anglers that hit that one, so we included it. You'll notice the value score is no longer shown. Uh, I've been doing a little research on that, and there's not a whole lot of uh, value to that value score, forgive me. Um, so I'm looking at recreating something that's a little more helpful. It's going to take me some time, but I'm looking to roll that out sometime later this year. Um, so stay tuned for that one as well. In bucket A, my first pick is a guy that's really, really heavily picked and with good reason. Brandon Cobb, somewhat of a local guy. He also has a third place finished in the Forest Wood Cup. Obviously, as we mentioned, that was in August, but a guy that knows the lake, going to be able to fish the different strengths here, understands the herring bite. Look for him as a good, strong pick. My second pick in this one was a little more difficult. Guys like Cox and Hackney and Ike and Elliot, I all thought about quite a bit. Ultimately, for me, it came down to Tyler Rivett and Chris Johnston for that second one. Tyler Rivett simply for the fact that he has done so well live scoping this year. And I think that's really, really going to play in this one when we're talking about those fish staged off. That's basically what Gagliardi was doing to do those. So I really thought about him. Ultimately, though, I'm going to take Chris Johnston in this one. Uh, does not have a lot of history here, at least on the historical stuff we pulled, but just a good overall angler. He's going to be able to back off and drop shot if he needs to. Obviously, he's done well in other tournaments doing that, but he can also get up shallow and mix it up. So I think his overall versatility is what put him over the top for me. So it's Cobb and Johnston in bucket A. Into bucket B, uh, some good options in this one too. Matt Airy, Scott Canterbury, both guys real familiar with this area. Have some history here in the FLW side. Guys I think could do really well. Pretty versatile. Ultimately, though, I went with two anglers here. Patrick Walters, um, just a good overall fisherman, and he's from somewhat that area, somewhat of a local. Look for him to put one together. He's kind of done maybe not as well as I thought he would do to start this season, so I look for this to be a get-right tournament for him. And Cody Huff. Uh, Cody Huff is another one style-wise is going to fit him really well. He's done well here before. In fact, in 2021, he had a top 10 here at that FLW event in April, so he's got the history there. And so those are my two picks here in bucket B, Cody Huff, Patrick Walters. Bucket C, we got another group of good options here. Uh, Buddy Gross, the guy I thought about, I expect him to do well. He's as good as there is on post-spawn staging fish, finding those fish. And then I'm going to change things up on the fly a little bit here. In my notes, I've got Corey Johnston, John Cruz. John Cruz, of course, has a couple really nice tournaments here uh, on the Bassmaster Elite Series. Going to fit into his wheelhouse a little bit. Corey Johnston in bucket C, you don't get much better value than that. Uh, really good angler. Similar to Chris, like we talked about, they fish fairly similar. He can drop shot, he can get up shallow and mix it up. 
But ultimately, I'm going to drop John Cruz from this. I'm going to take Austin Felix instead. As good an angler as there is on the electronics, on the Elite Series, he's going to find these fish. He's got some history here. Uh, Fished that Forest Wood Cup in 2017. Knows the lake. Look for him to do well. Corey Johnston, Austin Felix are my picks in bucket C. Into bucket D. This is where it kind of gets cloudy. You've got some really good anglers that are down here in bucket D. Hard to pick between them. Uh, Jason Christie's in this bucket. He's got about a quarter of the pick percentage right now with good reason. Uh, Jacob Parosnik's in this one. You know a big fan I am of him. Matt Heron's in here. He's done well in this uh, Lake Murray before and has got about 30% of the picks. Rick Klun, a sneaky pick in this one. Um, he's got a couple of top 12s here from BASS competition. If my picks in this one, I'm going Brandon Polinick, Justin Atkins. With Polinick, I'm going to continue picking him until he does well, I think. I don't know. Maybe I'm being stubborn with him, but um, just not has not had as great a year as you would expect. He probably did better than I thought he would in Florida. Uh, maybe my vision's clouded because he really didn't do much in the Classic there, and I thought he would. So another guy I'm looking for a bounce-back tournament here. And then Justin Atkins, just quite frankly, it's hard for me to take anyone other than a Forest Wood Cup champion in bucket D. He, of course, won that Forest Wood Cup in 2017 here, so it's going to be hard for me to look anywhere else, even though that was a different time of year. You know, he's a guy at one point last year, we were talking about whether he was even going to fish this year, and of course, turned around with that great finish at the end of the season. So look for him to pick things up here as well, get his feet under him, and uh, Atkins and Polinuk in bucket D. And finally, bucket E. Before we pick this one, let's point out one person we're not picking. That is Keith Poche. Uh, in case you haven't heard, he will not be fishing this one. He informed the tournament directors that he would be disqualified due to the uh, schedule conflicts with him also fishing the FLW. So Keith Poche will not be a pick in this one, in case you were thinking of him. Ultimately, my two picks in this one, Brian New, David Williams. Brian New, another South Carolina guy, he's got like 73% of the picks, so not exactly a sleeper. Um, very much a local, but a good option here. And then David Williams, my other pick. Not getting very much pick considering he was fifth here in the FLW in 2021 in that April event, which is going to somewhat correlate to how this is going to play out. So look for him as a good option. Brian New, David Williams. So that'll do it for Lake Murray Bassmaster Elite Picks. If I missed anyone, missed anything, please let me know down below. I love hearing from you guys. Join our fantasy fishing group if you have not. Otherwise, good luck at this tournament, and we will see you on the next video.